I'm thinking about when you're in the zone and you're completely, I think, I think they call it in the zone, but when you're fully just present and skateboarding, for me, it's just, I forget I have scoliosis. I wouldn't call it an escape because escape means you got away. <laughs> I can't get away. <laughs> There's no getting away from scoliosis. But I, it's like that small window where you just kind of see the light. Yeah, in the future, water view, uh, maybe sunset or sunrise, I don't know, I can't decide which one I like more. My name is Larry Liu, I have what it's medically known as scoliosis, it's the curvature of your spine, and you're either born with it, or it happens from trauma, or whatever, you know, muscle imbalances, just being pulled out of place from life, just living life. And I was born with it. Living with scoliosis sucks, honestly. It's very m uncomfortable most days. I realized finally that I can't live the same like everyone else does. I can't live the same way my neighbor does. It's funny because skateboarding kind of makes me feel normal sometimes because once that adrenaline hits you know you're feeling good there's not really much pain and then I'm immediately reminded of my situation once it wears off and I realize you know it's kind of back to reality this is what I got to deal with This is just one of the tricks that I've been dreaming about for a while now. I'm gonna try to do a backside tail slide on this ledge. The original idea was to do it at this Chase Bank ledge down in Stadium District that kind of throws you into a downhill and into some, some intersections, but they capped it up, so we're here by the beautiful water and we're gonna try to uh, do a do a similar trick but just at a different area. When when I land this trick, it's gonna feel so good. <laughs> it's gonna feel so good. I popped way too late. It's been great. <laughs> I never would do that. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier if people move sometimes. If I started out early. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I was feeling the bridge and I was. I was just skateboarding over here. I was afraid of hitting your car. Is it possible that you can move a couple of down? He almost hit us. He's a fucking asshole. Oh, for real. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> ah! Huh? Nah. Mindset's huge because your body and your mind are a unit. 
wire linked. So if your body's feeling crappy, automatically your mind is going to feel that. always talk about being comfortable on your board it's like it's a little different when you're not even comfortable in your own body you know you know growing up I would kind of just be like whatever about my back my body just whatever and then as I was skateboarding I realized my recovery is different from other people my the the things I can do on a skateboard is different from other people I'm not jumping down a set that makes no sense my body would not react the same. I think I'm just gonna set the the expectations of, I'm gonna live till I'm 90. I'm gonna live till I'm 100. So what I do now will affect how I feel later. And by having that huge idea of how old I'm gonna be really helps feel me to put in the work now and you know, not every day is I'm at my best, so, you know, but it helps to think that that far into the future. So, last week, we came out here to try to get this trick, and uh, we had to deal with a bunch of old grumps. And uh, someone decided to park in the spot and eat their food in it, just in out of spite. So we're back here trying to make this happen seven days later. And uh, I don't know, I'm trying not to expect anything. How my body feels right now. Fuck, I feel terrible. Nah, didn't work out. Next time. <laughs> I think it's such a selfish thing to just skateboard for the reason of, like, in my mind, sometimes I think. I have scoliosis and I'm skateboarding. I'm making my life way harder than it needs to be. But at the same time, there I can't explain the amount of appreciation and joy that I get from being able to skate even though I have scoliosis. And also the amount of joy I get from skating with friends. That relatable feeling of overcoming a battle of trying to progress in a craft. So we're out here on Rustin. I'm right and here. It's gonna be the third attempt at this backside tail on the ledge. And 
Um, shoot, I still feel the first two tries <laughs> till this day. So third week, I'm here to try to get it. The hype, the hype homies are here. Um, I feel pretty good today. So we're just gonna take it as it comes and not expect too much and just do our best. And uh, it's a beautiful day, so there's nothing to be too bummed about if I don't get it. Come here. It's all good. We'll get them next time. <laughs> Skateboarding is brutal on the body, especially, and to just consistently try and not give up, I'm sure it does wonders on my mentality for trying to battle this scoliosis. About the process I'm trying not to be all like I'm happy with results you know just like I can be happy once I get the results but I can be happy with what I what I almost got today and just be like kind of failure and success is two sides of the same coin shit so I don't know I feel okay I'm bummed but I feel more comfortable than I did the last time for sure. But I mean like, I put, I said I would like, <laughs> I don't know, there's like, I put stuff on the line for this today, so I'm like, damn, like, I was like, if I land this, I'm gonna start focusing on like school, and like, you know, trying to get it, but I don't know, maybe it's not time yet. I just gotta come back. It feels funny when it gets lower, because then it just kind of feels like you're humping the air, and then when they walk in, <laughs> you're just like talking to them while humping the air. It's funny. So I try to get it on the highest setting, so I'm really like getting up all up in there. I used to be suicidal, and thinking back on it, it's because I just didn't have the tools to deal with my situation. I wasn't prepared in life to deal with this. The hardest days are when I'm in pain, you know, my back is compressed, um, my knees bugging, my hip is hurting, my neck is kinked, and Twisting and turning and just moving is uncomfortable. My biggest fear from having scoliosis is not being able to live a full life. Uh, today is 4.20. And we're back out here. <laughs> we, took a, we took a couple weeks off because um, I had rolled my ankle pretty bad. And so did, a, did a, some rehab. Got it taped up today. It's going to work out for the better. You know, sometimes injuries are a bummer, but it's nice because then you have time to kind of 
uh, reflect and uh, work on mindset because a lot of it is mindset. I found that <laughs> just accepting how I am and being, it's funny that like, cause I don't ever really feel comfortable in my skin, but in a way, just being okay with who I am. It's constant, it's the daily practice, honestly. Like every day I gotta be like, okay, you know, this is where I am now and then just kind of accept that. When you really enjoy doing something, it doesn't, nothing else really matters. Nothing else really stands in your way. And so at this point in my life, I enjoy skateboarding. And so I don't see why I would stop skateboarding because I have scoliosis. If anything, it motivates my skateboarding even more because I know that I have a limited window, even more limited than some no person with a normal bag. Everyone experiences pain, and it's normal. There's nothing special about my situation. There's nothing new about it. I think pain is just a part of life just as much as pleasure. I just think it's really important to think that it's temporary and that it's always possible to have those moments in life where you're not in pain and you can enjoy life. What the fuck, Nico? Ah! <laughs> Tramp it up. <laughs>